might not be easy for me. 23 minus 1. What? 23 minus 1. You have 23 and you take away 1. <laughs> Olivia. But I don't, how would I know? What a perfect representation of something called the curse of knowledge. The curse of knowledge is key, especially if you, like me, are a teacher about to go back into the school year. Hello, my name is Tim Raschuti. I am a math educator and first of all, props to mom, teaching subtraction is so hard. I honestly think teaching subtraction is one of the hardest things any K through 12 teacher would have to do. The trap that mom has fallen into here though is called the curse of knowledge. Mom has the knowledge of what subtraction action is how it works and therefore recognizes that a problem like 23 minus 1 is about as easy as subtraction can get. And yet, daughter doesn't have that knowledge yet. And that's the curse of knowledge. It's not just that you, the teacher, have the information that the learner doesn't. You, the teacher, have had that information and mastered it and so you can't even remember what it's like not to have that knowledge. What are some ways we can navigate through the curse of knowledge? I think one of the best ones by far is multiple representations. Multiple representations can do a few different things. First of all, they give the learner several different hooks to grab onto. If the first representation doesn't work, if the second representation doesn't work, having multiple representations at your disposal gives you more and more ways to find maybe that third or fourth thing for the learner that does work. What might that mean specifically for something like subtraction? Well, for sure, we might go back to a more concrete model of what's going on with subtraction rather than the kind of abstract knowledge of how subtraction subtraction works. And honestly, mom did a great job of this because mom said 23 minus one, 23 take away one. And so she's reminding daughter, hey, there's this other way to think about subtraction where you actually literally take away an object. If you've got 23 objects and you take away one, what do you have left? Specifically for something like subtraction, there might also be a mental model of counting backwards. Instead of thinking of 23 minus one, let's just start at 23 and begin counting backwards. When we take 23 23 subtract one, all we have to do is count back one time and there's our answer, right? 22 is one less than 23. Just to be clear, this video does have a very happy ending. Olivia has come to clear her name. 23 minus one is 27. Great job, mom. Daughter figured out 23 minus one is 22. If you, like me, are a teacher or you're interested in teacherly type knowledge, I cannot recommend strongly enough. Opal is a great social video sharing site for teachers. You can see their at in the description down here. Be sure to check them out as we get the new 2025-26 school year started.